All right, uh, it's kind of raining. I, you can probably hear that uh, rain on the roof right here. But I just wanted to show how I did the, the shed around the boiler here. Um, it's kind of easier to show it with a video than to try to explain it. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can see my roof, I just did a, uh, just a sloping roof. I didn't do any uh, peak or anything like that. I just did a flat roof that sloped down to one side. Get out of the rain a little bit here. Um, very, very simple. Just build four walls. Um, biggest thing is for the doors, you've got to, you know, cut that out and uh, frame around it. Once I got the siding on, uh, I put the doors on and then, of course, that little, uh, that's the vent to the boiler. I just put a little um, pipe that pointed up just so that any water that went through there would, uh, would drain back in. Um, once I did that, I actually didn't lose much water through, through uh, steam because uh, I don't really boil it. I just get it up to around 180 degrees or so. Anyway, so you put that, those on after you get the, the siding on. Uh, the biggest thing is to insulate really well. Um, I used uh, um, attic insulation, some really thick stuff wrapped around everywhere. Um, very, very simple actually, just the four walls. Uh, the roof on top, I you know you can have, actually you can see, uh, I can't really see inside there, but anyway, basically, you know, I just put that roof on top. You just got to keep it dry. Uh, hopefully I don't get birds nesting in there or something, but uh, very simple. I want to show the back too, because I did put a little door so that you can get in to the back. Uh, I don't have to get in there very often, so I didn't make it, you know, anything fancy with hinges and latches. Basically, I just uh, framed in a little square uh, that size, and um, and then uh, the siding just screws screws that door right onto the frame. And then when I want to get in there, I just uh, take those screws out, pop that door out, and I can get in there and access it uh, when I need to. Also, uh, over here on this side, um, I have uh, that's where the the, the, the valves are for the secondary and primary burn. Um, I only have to adjust that once, basically. And uh, so when I do that, I just unscrew some of these uh, siding, um, uh, fold that back, and I can get right in there and adjust those. Um, otherwise, it's all pretty much closed up. Um, big thing is make sure you put insulation you know, underneath the boiler around the boiler, the front of the boiler, everywhere you can get insulation, insulate it really well. And um, that's the biggest thing. Uh, make sure it's dry, the roof, you know, covers everything. I made the roof a little bit bigger, you know, so that it hangs over the side, so that, so that uh, you know, you don't get a lot of rain blowing in there. You don't want to get the insulation wet or it won't work very well. But uh, uh, it worked, worked really well for me last year. Uh, very simple, easy to build. Um, oh, make sure, I, you know, I used, uh, this is actually siding I got from a, um, a scrap yard around here, so it was really cheap, actually. Uh, make sure you use something that's uh, um, fireproof, uh, especially on the front. Back here is not a big deal, but if you look over here on the front, I mean, it's all black. Uh, that's from when, you, when I open the door, when I'm starting fires, whatnot. Uh, you do get some smoke coming out of there. Uh, every once in a while, you get some pretty good sized flames coming out of there. If I open it up, you know, to put put wood in when it's going, um, you know, I don't think it's been too dangerous. But um, you definitely want to, you know, if that was wood, it could have caught fire. I, I don't know, but anyway, uh, use. Uh, I do have wood up there. Flames never get up that high. The smoke does, so it's kind of black up there, but. Uh, 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 and then also the roof is uh, uh, metal, so if any sparks do come out of there, it'll land on metal and not start a fire. Um, I also have that cap on top to help uh, keep things down so that they don't fly too far away and keep water out of there. Um, anyway, that's the shed. Um, it, you can pretty much design it any way you want, make it look however you want. Most designs you see, commercial sheds, they have a a roof that are, you know, uh, have a gable end to it, so it's uh, uh, not just a one flat sloping roof, but this was uh, a lot easier for me to build, and I don't really 
there what it looks like. I don't think this looks bad anyway. Um, anyway, it's totally up to you on how you do that, and uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas.